Welcome to Abbott's web series. At Abbott, we know that a healthier hospital begins with a healthier laboratory, because labs performing at their best deliver results that provide better patient outcomes and improve healthcare value. Abbott can help you redefine performance with personalized and innovative solutions that leverage our resourceful advocates, experts to help you achieve your goals and deliver critical performance metrics. Harmonized systems, innovative instruments, informatics and automation solutions that streamline your lab operations. And intelligent insights, professional services to help unlock the value of your data across your network and discover greater operational productivity. We hope you find Abbott's web series a unique and vital resource in helping you achieve measurably better healthcare performance. Hello, and welcome to our web series. I am Jennifer Hollenstein, Senior Director of Research and Clinical Systems at Abbott. Today, my colleagues and I are excited to share with you some first look perspectives of Abbott's newest clinical chemistry and immunoassay systems, the Alinity CI series. Joining me is Dr. Jose Santiago, Global Marketing Manager for the Alinity CI series assays at Abbott, and Brittany Dressler, Global Marketing Manager for the Alinity CI series systems. Together, we're going to explore how three institutions have begun to improve their productivity and flexibility with the Alinity CI series. Jennifer, thank you. It's great to be here. I think the Alinity CI series is an excellent example of Abbott pioneering innovations and delivering personalized solutions to help our customers achieve measurably better healthcare performance. And today, Brittany and I are looking forward to discussing this next generation of harmonized systems. Thanks, Jose. Yes, I'm also looking forward to discussing the most important features of the Alinity CI series systems. As you may know, Abbott's Alinity CI series received European CE marking late last year, and we're thrilled to have recently received U.S. FDA clearance. The Alinity CI series is now available in Europe, Asia, and Latin America. That's great news. In fact, the Alinity C and the Alinity I that make up the Alinity CI series are just two of the seven systems of the Alinity family. The portfolio provides a unified experience across key laboratory disciplines, including clinical chemistry, immunoassay, hematology, transfusion, molecular, point of care, and informatics. Yes, Jennifer. Built from the ground up, these innovative systems incorporate attributes our customers told us were most important in the systems they use every day. The Alinity systems have been built around the user. First, they deliver uniformity, helping standardize operations so labs can optimize their resources and maintain high levels of service. They also provide flexibility with a scalable and integrated design and multiple track connectivity options for today's high-performing labs. They also deliver increased operational productivity, providing greater throughput and capacity in a more compact footprint, helping to address limited space and increasing demand. And finally, with error-proof design elements and proven technology, these systems provide confidence so that labs can continue to deliver the highest quality results in a timely manner. Thank you, Brittany. I think we're off to a great start understanding Alinity's potential to transform the lab and are ready to take our first look at how the Alinity CI series reliability and performance was demonstrated in a core lab in Toronto, Canada. At IFCC 2017 in Athens, we heard Dr. Paul Yip speak. As professor at the University Health Network and University of Toronto, Canada, he was one of the first Alinity C clinical chemistry users. He shared his initial experience using the Alinity C system and the data set gathered on a pre-production system. Before Dr. Yev began his study, we installed the Alinity C system in his lab. We were able to connect the Alinity C next to his architect clinical chemistry system from Abbott, as the Alinity C is just half the size of the architect. After site qualification, it only took two rounds of performance verification and fairly quick training before Dr. Yip could study the performance of the Alinity C across multiple assays. This underscores the simplicity of the new technology user interface. 
Dr. Yip performed potentiometric, photometric methods using commercial control materials and clinical specimens. Initially, he wanted to evaluate precision on this new Alinity C system. So first he conducted a five-day precision study that used third-party control materials and tested the sodium, potassium, chloride, total carbon dioxide, and magnesium research use reagents. Let's see what he found out. I'm showing you data from the five-day precision study. So this included both the BioRed and the Technopath controls. They were run for five days. There was a break uh, in between those five days. And this included three different levels. And here are the range of the abnormal low uh, up to the abnormal high. And this was done for two runs per day, separated by two hours. And there were two replicates for, uh, per run. So each of these represents uh, an N of 20. And you can see that there was excellent um, precision uh, for these, uh, these assays that we had done in the precision study. And when you compare them to the goal based on the biological variation, you could see that the sodium was comparable, the potassium was, was excellent, far below the goal. Uh, chloride was comparable. Now CO2, of course, is a, is a very tricky analyte, and um, this, of course, does not meet the ideal goal, but this is very comparable to what, um, what we have in the laboratory and probably comparable to what you have in yours. So 3 4% is um, quite typical for CO2. And then magnesium, this is a very challenging assay. You can see that that is quite comparable to the goal based on biological variation as well. Next, Dr. Yip wanted to explore the reliability of the system by evaluating the instrument over a four-week period. Dr. Yip tested more than 2,000 clinical specimens for calcium, creatinine, glucose, and magnesium assays, as well as the electrolytes, sodium, potassium, and chloride. Over a four-week period, and we did a total of 2,052 specimens. And in this particular study, we ran about 150 patient samples per day, and each patient sample was tested in three replicates. All right, so that gave um, about 43,000 replicates, and 98.7% of which met the expected precision. And in terms of overall reliability during that time, there were no service calls. So this shows that it had an excellent reliability in that period. I'd say overall, that is a very favorable performance of the Alinity C system. That's great, Jose. It really speaks well to the reliability of the Alinity C system that all assays met expected performance during the testing period. We also have immunoassay data from Dr. Carl Lochner. He too was one of the first users to experience the powerful capabilities of an Alindy system. Brittany, tell us about Dr. Lochner's data. I would be happy to, Jennifer. Based in Mainz, Germany, the central laboratory for the University Medical Center Mainz runs approximately six million immunochemistry tests per year. There, Dr. Lochner wanted to find out how the Alinity I system compared to his existing architect immunoassay platform, both in his lab and across five others in the world. First, he evaluated precision on key infectious disease assays. This was performed uh, mostly with control material, but I will sh later show you correlations to the architect systems. Uh, this was done on real life samples from our uh, clinical center. There are two exceptions. We don't have enough HTLV positives in mines and also syphilis is uh, relatively rare in, in our hands, but we have uh, sufficient hepatitis and HIV patients in our center. What you see here is the total within-day imprecision of the different assays, which is comparable to the performance of the architect system. Dr. Lochner also talks about the linearity of TSH conducted in Tokyo and Torino. You can see from the graphs where Tokyo data are shown on the left and Torino data are shown on the right, there is good linearity performance across the measuring range. He then evaluated assay sensitivity by assessing limits of blank, detection, and quantitation. TSH, uh, limit of blank was done in, in Sydney. We see that uh, all samples limit of blank, the claim is uh, 0.026, 100% uh, of samples in this center were within the claim. Um, limit of detection, uh, again, 100% within uh, the claim. 
Jennifer, what I'd also like to point out about Dr. Lochner's presentation is that the correlation between assays on the Alinity I system and the Architect I-2000 is excellent, as seen on the troponin example. This really speaks to the commutability of results between the Architect and the Alinity I system. Dr. Lochner also had even more positive comments on the Alinity system from his laboratory technicians. What I did here, I just uh, list the three uh, things which were mentioned by our technicians most consistently. One is uh, that the reagents can be loaded while the instrument is running. Daily maintenance has been simplified. Wash solutions are ready to use. That was one of the uh, major improvements compared to the architect handling. And calibrators and controls can be stored on board. Uh, so these are the, the three things most consistently uh, mentioned by our technicians, if, if you go ahead and ask them. As we heard from the previous two speakers, the Alindi CI series not only demonstrates high quality analytical performance, but also helps improve operational productivity with innovative features like continuous reagent and sample loading and onboard cows and controls. It's impressive that the Alindi CI series delivers all this in a more compact footprint. Yes, Jennifer, the intelligent design of the Alinity CI series reduces the footprint of the system while increasing the throughput. This makes it one of the most efficient systems, providing more tests per square meter than other systems on the market today. We've learned a lot about what the Alindy immunoassay and clinical chemistry systems can do in core labs, from its reliability in delivering high quality, precise results to its productivity and ease of use. But what about its flexibility the ability to scale with ease so that a lab can expand and adapt to their changing needs. Well, Biopath, a leading private laboratory in France and one of the first laboratories globally to have used an integrated Alinity CI series system, can give us some insights into Alinity's flexibility. Serving 2,000 patients 24 hours a day, Biopath completes an average 26,000 tests daily. And Biopath has big initiatives to grow to serve 5,000 patients per day, all while investing in technologies that will help them towards continuous productivity improvements and uninterrupted service. To understand how Biopath plans to do this, let's hear from their CTO, Mr. Jerome Motol, and learn why they chose the Alindi CI series systems for their laboratory. We have a new lab, and um, it's necessary to to increase uh, our productivity with Alice Nisli, who is a, is a compact system, and we have a reduction of the size for the automatic analyzer. And it's very important because uh, our platform uh, have uh, the same space, and uh, we, we must uh, increase our activity in the future. Uh, we increase of the number of one test and throughput on IETC by uh, 11% and on E by 30% combined with existing systems. And um, it's a flexibility for our organization. So with improved operational productivity, the Alinity CI series systems make it possible for Biopath to achieve quality results in less time. Right, and talking about quality, let's take a look at their clinical chemistry precision evaluation. Biopath achieved excellent single-digit CVs for the clinical chemistry assays evaluated. Looking at the immunoassay precision of the Alinity I, Biopath also saw fantastic results that allow for high confidence in the performance of the system. TSH, for instance, had CVs of 1.8 to 2.5 across all levels. Not only was the imprecision low, but all the methods evaluated show good correlation to their counterparts on the architect systems. So together, the assay performance offers quality results and the Alindi CI series system enables Biopath the flexibility to grow so they can continue to provide a high level of service to their patients. Jose and Brittany, it's been really great to hear some insights from some of the first Alindi CI series users. Still, there's a lot left to be discussed and we have some questions from our online audience. Our first audience member wants to know how equivalent are the results between the architect and the Alinity systems? Brittany? 
We heard this addressed in some of Dr. Yip and Dr. Lochner's presentations, but I'd like to elaborate on it. Abbott has incorporated some of the same proven technologies currently used in our architect systems to maintain the same high quality assay results. The reagents used in the Alinity C and Alinity I systems are the same high performing reagents. Alinity also uses the same signal detection technology as our architect platforms to help assure commutability of high quality results across systems. Additionally, the Alinity CI series assays have been harmonized with the Clinical Laboratory and Standards Institute guidance to ensure clear performance parameter definitions. Jose, what do you think are some of the most appreciated aspects of the architect technology that have been translated to Alinity? The architect platform technology you'll see in the new Alinity CI series systems includes electrolytes performed on our integrated chip technology, sample interference indices, smartwash and flex ray technology, clot and bubble detection, as well as immunoassay chemiflex technology. That together provides the proven level of performance we've come to expect. Thank you, Jose. Brittany, our next question comes from an audience member that states she has a lot of turnover in her lab and wants to know if the Alindi systems will be easy to use. Jennifer, that is a great question. Alinity is the only family of systems that offers a common and intuitive user interface across all systems so that users can easily transition from one system to another throughout the lab with minimal training. The Alinity systems will allow your staff more walk-away time so they can spend their time in other value-added tasks. There's an inherent accessibility built into Alinity that should empower users to be confident in their skills and their lab's output. It sounds like the Alindi systems are making good on Abbott's promise to help labs redefine their performance and address their greatest challenges. Today's exclusive first look provided a glimpse of how the Alindi systems can deliver uniformity, flexibility, operational productivity, and confidence. But how exactly does the Alindi system deliver on its promise to simplify diagnostic testing while ensuring speed, accuracy, and performance? Don't miss the next segment in our discussion where we learn all about the features and functions of the Alindi CI series. Thank you for joining us today, Brittany and Jose. Thank you, Jennifer. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Mine as well. And if you have more questions about what we learned today or in any future presentation in our series, just email us at webseries at abbott.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching Abbott's web series. We hope you found it to be a unique and vital resource in helping you learn how to achieve measurably better healthcare performance. Be sure to join us for the next Abbott web series as you continue your quest to transform your laboratory and institution to be its healthiest.